So hey, how's it going out there tonight? One of the most common questions I get asked from subscribers of my newsletter is, hey Rick, I got your spreadsheet, but can I put the settings in while I'm off the water? What do you think? Yes, Rick, there are many settings that can be entered right out of the box. You just need a battery. Please show these fine people how to disable the sonar. You sure can. So let's take a look at some of the things that you can do when you're off the water with your chart plotter. Okay, so once you get your chart plotter all fired up, just take your power button and hit it real quickly and you'll get this menu. And at the bottom, it'll say disable all sonar. So go ahead and touch that. And sometimes when you bring it up, you'll be in a sonar screen and it'll be blank and your transducer will be running. So don't forget to do that. From there, you're not gonna hurt your transducer any. And you can go ahead and put your settings in. And if you wanna play around with it and see what things are gonna look like, just go to your settings system and simulator and go ahead and turn that on with the new update go to setup and go to speed and set that for about five miles an hour and you can set it faster or slower whichever you want to do hit done go home And from there, you can pretty much look at anything you want to. So there are some settings that you can't do when you're off the water, but they're pretty limited. As long as you got your transducer and auto, and you know, some of the other things like your gain, your contrast, your brightness, those are things that you can set for the simulator, but when you get out on the water, they're probably not gonna be the same. But you can set up different things like your color scheme. Let's go ahead and go to that traditional amber that everybody, and then when you get out on the water, that is the color that it'll be because it saves that. Some of the other things you can do, you can edit your overlays, this over here. Sonar settings, overlay data, and let's say we want to take the depth. We don't want to see that, and we don't want to see the voltage. You can see that changes over there. Obviously, you would want to see your depth. And your speed, you can change it from GPS to the water speed, or you can just put it on auto, so whichever indication it has is what it's going to read, and time of day. Some people may not want the time of day on there. So you can take and hide that to give yourself a little more screen. Remember one thing, when you make these changes, when you get out on the water, that's what you're gonna have. So if you're playing around like I was, you're gonna wanna go ahead and put those back. Otherwise, you're gonna be stuck with that. Go ahead and put that back on mine. So it just occurred to me. You guys may be wondering, what am I talking about a spreadsheet? If you're new to the channel, what I've done is I've taken most of the settings, not live scope, and I've put them into a spreadsheet form. And in the spreadsheet, I've highlighted the changes that I would make as a beginner that I'm sending out by email. So you can contact me at double T fishing at outlook.com and I'll send you one of these spreadsheets free. I'll just reply back with the attachment. The only thing I ask is that I add you to a mailing list where I send you a newsletter once a month and then you, we can have some direct correspondence back and forth. Promise I don't fill up your inbox. I just send that newsletter out once a month is about it. So here's one that not many people know about. If you go to your settings, your main homepage settings, and go to System, Display, you got this menu par display. 
and see where I've got it on show. That is where I like it, but you can change that to auto hide. And what that'll do, and then when you touch down here, it comes back for you. Okay, so that's a pretty good looking screen. But you know what? I really don't like this navigation inset up top. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Touch that, bring our screen back up, go to menu, edit overlays, navigation inset, and we'll go ahead and turn that off. That's about as much screen as you can get. Now those top and bottom bars, if you haven't played with them, there are some different options there. You, I did have one viewer whose simulator actually stayed on. So we can go in, we can go to system, simulator, and go ahead and turn it off. And then what you'll have when you turn on one of your sonar screens, see where it says transmission disabled? If you get that, go ahead again, hit your power button, enable all sonar. Now my transducer is actually active, but I'm out of the water. And if you do do that for a few minutes, I don't think you're gonna hurt it any. I've done it several times up front with my trolling motor where I pull my trolling motor out and I forget to turn my unit off. And of course, when you're doing your software updates and things like that, you're gonna to wanna to have that transmission turned off. And there may be times also when you wanna to go to your charts, fishing chart, and you may wanna find your lake or your buddy told you about a good waypoint. And you can do that off the water. You can go ahead and tap and you can create a waypoint if you want to while you're off the water. And you can also do that on your Active Captain app but then you got to synchronize back to your unit, which takes a little time. So if this is a spot that you hear about the night before and you want to mark it so you don't forget it, you can run out to your boat and go ahead and plug that in. So that's kind of handy as well. So all in all, guys, there is a lot of things you can do while you're off the water. So don't hesitate to go out to your boat when you got a brainstorm or you want to change something or try something and fire your unit up just make sure you disable that sonar and you should be just fine if you pretty much have your settings dialed in and you just want to keep record of them there's a link down in the description that has this beginner's guide which only has the settings it doesn't have any of my recommendations but it's a handy book to have on the boat and every other page is notes you can take notes on one side and write down your settings on the other and keep track of them in this journal. Also, I have 27 variations of an angler's journal, which I have in different colors and different pictures. So you can have one for each lake or each river or stream that you fish. And they're really handy. I think they came out real nice. The links for all these are down in the description. All right, so guys, I hope this video helped you, and I hope you're having a great summer, catching a lot of fish, and you know what? Until next time, keep calm and hook them.